wind chill. For some, it's the be all end all term that matters. And for others, it's just a made up number. So what is the truth about wind chill? Let's clear up some misconceptions. Up first, wind chill doesn't exist. While it is different than temperature, wind chill is a real value calculated using the temperature and the wind speed to give you an idea of what it feels like on your skin when you step outside. Next up, you should always dress by the thermometer. You may say that the temperature is only minus five, I don't need a hat, and that might be true if it's a calm day, but if that wind starts picking up, I can tell you from experience, frostbite is no joke. What that wind chill value is really telling you is how fast your skin will freeze. So if your wind chill is about minus 30, it only takes 10 to 30 minutes for you to get frostbite. If it's a really cold and blustery day and that wind chill's up to minus 50, frostbite can happen in just minutes. Wind chill doesn't affect objects. Wind chill isn't as relevant when you're looking at inanimate objects. I mean, you don't have to worry about your car getting frostbite, but it can cool things down a little bit faster if it's warmer than the air outside. Kind of like blowing on a hot cup of coffee to cool it down so you can drink it a little faster. Now, that being said, if it's minus five degrees out, but the wind chill's minus 20, do you need to plug it in? Well, no, the object will never cool down more than that outside air temperature. If your car's been sitting outside and it's already minus five, that wind can blow all it wants. Your car's staying at minus five. Extreme cold warnings ignore wind chill. Environment Canada does factor in wind chill when it's issuing its extreme cold warnings, but depending on where you are, you may see that warning a little later or sometimes not at all. In Alberta and Southern Saskatchewan, you need a wind chill or temperature of minus 40 for at least two hours before you see a warning. But in Toronto, that number jumps down to minus 30. Some people just use the wind chill to exaggerate how cold it is. This is definitely true, and maybe we're all a little guilty of exaggerating things a little bit when we're recounting our winters, but because of the dangers that come with cold temperatures and extremely cold wind chills, even if the term can be used to blow things a little bit out of proportion, if it stops people from getting frostbite, it's probably worth it.